they installed cameras in the vans and they watch and track your every single <laughs> move. <laughs> they track I your full. they track your eyes. So there have been like times where I'd like look out the window and then the camera would yell at me, distracted driving. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, how is it going? Welcome back to the Two Peas in a Pod podcast. I am your host, Micah, with the co-host, Nathan. What up, guys? Yeah, today is a good day. Um, last week went pretty well uh, for the first podcast. Winter, our cat, is going <laughs> crazy in the background. But what do you guys Winter. think of this new setup? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wish you guys could see what's going on, but we're going to have to try to ignore her. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we need to stop her because <laughs> she's going to Stop, Winter. <laughs> These are not bro. Okay. She's just trying to have fun, bro. She's trying to play. I know, but she's just a cat. I don't want her to lose them. Yeah, we kind of need this. Um, but that just threw me off. Uh, what was I even saying? He said last week went pretty well. Oh, yeah. Last week did go pretty well, but what do you guys think of the new setup? We got lights. We got, got a better mic set up. Yes. Oh, yes. We got a new mic so set up. Better. I couldn't stand the audio from last time. Yeah. Because we only had one of the good mics and we were going to try and use the good one and then like one that wasn't as good. It just, it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't work. it at all. But, you know, it's all, it's all good now. Yeah. We got the, the quality. You guys should see my whole new uh, studio set up. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming that came in this week. Got some studio monitors. I got that a nice. new MIDI keyboard um i got a new cabinet thing that i could just hold all my stuff micah went on a spending spree. i went on a spending spree i got my stimulus no not stimulus my tax refund oh that's what, you, that's what <laughs> and i just started freaking spending <laughs> did you get yours yet yeah but i didn't spend any of it yeah that i just i mean i needed to do it i needed to to splurge yeah i don't buy like the thing i spend all my money on is food food yeah and, like gas and that's it food is um uh, it's a, it's really bad. Yeah. It's so tempting to just spend Dude, money honestly, on food I blame every mom, day. Cuz mom used to cook all the time. It, and now it's like some days I don't even know if she's cooking and some days she'd be like, "Oh, I'm just going to heat up this thing." And I'm like, "That's not what you used to cook." I want some bro, food. Oh my gosh. Like, dude. when was the last time we had chicken and rice? I know. Arroz con pollo? And, I oh. I want that so bad. That's like my favorite thing. Yeah. She has made Alfredo in forever. She hasn't made, she made like that chicken and corn and she's like, you didn't like my food. I thought it was good. It's just like, no, I nah. liked it. But I, I, at this point I'm like, I'm just going to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is at work every single day, since I'm out so late yeah. now, you just get I just, I just eat because like, I just can't, I Your can't help myself. No, I like, I get like Panda every <laughs> single day because I get the demonic route. Yeah. Yeah. The work. Oh. Um, but I think Coachella was this past week. Yeah. Did you follow anything about it? I didn't follow. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I don't really entirely know exactly what Coachella even is. I know it's like a music festival. People aren't going for the music. They're just going to say they to went. drink and party and party and stuff. Yeah. It's like a, the Coachella culture is now like it's like a clout farming. Like you go because Frick. everyone's there. Yeah. And like there's people that do go and enjoy their favorite artist and music. But it's mostly just about like being around everybody and like, you know, all the famous people are there. All the social media people. are. But there who like performs like, um, a lot? Is like, it just like e is it just EDM artists? No, like Harry Styles like was there. Oh. I don't know if Taylor Swift was there this year, but she's been there like a oh, lot of snap. big artists. Justin Bieber performed there one year. I do remember that. Yeah. For, it's a lot in, of huge. Artists. In my head, I was just thinking it was like EDM stuff and people were just popping mollies and going crazy the <laughs> no. whole time yeah no it's it's that it's has crazy. that's definitely part of it though for, yeah, sure. for sure yeah it's not like a. yeah because it's music it's not like burning man because you're the burning man stories those, yeah. are, <laughs> those are crazier than coachella but i think it's still in the middle of a desert it's still hot yeah people are doing drugs i think i don't know if you sleep in trailers like you do a burning man you probably you do. probably do yeah yeah people have their own trailers it's uh not gonna lie though I feel like it would be a lot of fun to go. I just wonder. I wonder how much it costs. It's. I, I think it's really. Expensive. It's probably money. Well, it might not. You might not be the tickets that are expensive, but like to have a trailer. To yeah, be like you're there. I don't know how long it is. It's days. It's a long time. Yeah, it's so, probably like a three day excursion. Yeah, yeah. But 
hey, if you're going with like a goal to meet people and try and like network, if you're a social media person, it's probably worth it. You yeah. have to like have the money to get there and do things. I also I apologize about my allergies. Dude, um, I've been having a sneeze. <laughs> I popped a Benny. I took an Allegra. <laughs> things just don't help at this point. Yo, this guy <laughs> Micah. I have never met someone with as bad of allergies <laughs> in my life. It's every day. For like two months, maybe three months straight, he's just like, dude. And he, he always is doing this with his nose, having to sneeze. His eyes get puffy. It's I so thought I was fine. I thought like the Benny was actually helping. And then now like I sat down, started talking. And now it's just really <laughs> freaking bad. <laughs> I just want to lay down and die. <laughs> dude, it's dude. awful. It's funny because me, I'm just like, hey, I'm chilling. I'm fine. I don't even... I probably have had seasonal allergies like once or twice, but not ever to the extent like you explain how like you'll wake up fine the moment you step outside. It's like hitting a wall. <laughs> yeah. Like I could feel it. But no, recently because of freaking winter, I'm allergic to cats and we have a cat. Oh my because of winter, I'm waking up feeling awful like every single day. You need to get uh, try and get one of those air purifiers in your room. I know. We only have one in I the know. living room. But like the 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 thing is too is the room doesn't get that much of AC just yeah. where it's located yours as well. Gets but so um hot. so I want to have my door open to let the cold air in. But, but then winter, winter goes in, in and lays and gets all her hair over my blankets. Mm -hmm. It's it's not fun. Dude, when she was young, I she would sleep in my room and every morning 5 a.m. My hair's getting freaking tangled in her claws. She's pouncing <laughs> off. Like, what are you doing? Get the frick off me. I'd like yell, what you go? And she'd have to freaking, uh, she'd just like jump, jump out. Because like now she knows exactly what she's doing. Like at the time when she was young, she didn't. But like she yeah. knows not to go on the counters. She knows certain things she's not supposed to get into. And she'll you'll see her. She'll look at us and she'll try and sneak around the yeah. corner. Where her, and she looks and she's like, okay, I'm not doing it. But um, we got to give a big shout out uh, for Monster for coming back again oh. this week. And we also have a new sponsor this week. McDonald's. Everyone go get your orange high seas from McDonald's. I usually get no ice because they put so much ice, it gyps you from how much. Uh, and then it just waters it down. Yeah. You just got to get no ice. It's cold enough. Orange high sea from McDonald's. And you'll thank me later. You know, this is a, this sponsor's a dream come true, you know, growing up. Getting a McChick, two McChickens, three chocolate chip cookies, and a small orange high C with no ice every, yeah. almost every single day. Um, you know, it, it kind of brought me where I am today. And to see it coming mm. full circle, yeah. you know, Amen, um, just means a whole lot. So shout out to McDonald's and shout out for Monster. Back Again, in the, the slums of Muck City, our parents used to feed the whole family for $25. 25 we bucks. Young. Family of six. Yeah. <laughs> My so nice. dad used to talk about it. He's like, I missed that. <laughs> then we go out to like Applebee's, it's like sixty, seventy dollars. Like, oof. Yeah, I get Panda Express. It's like ten bucks. Yeah, it's like we used to eat for, for one person. Yeah, I mean, when you're on your McChicken grind, you'd get it'll be like four. Yeah, bucks. but McDonald's is more expensive now too. Yeah, everything's more expensive. It's crazy. dude. Yeah, it used to be like four. It would be like a four twenty one or some four twenty seven was exactly how much it would cost my order. You got that every day, every single day. You had that two McChickens, three chocolate chip cookies, and a. Smaller and yeah, noise. now two McChickens is probably like th over three dollars. Yeah, there's like Inflation, no dollar man. menus anymore. The only thing you could get for a dollar at McDonald's is a larger drink. Yeah. That's the only thing they kept is the dollar <laughs> it's drinks. So dumb. The dollar drinks. Even the steak. cookies. Yeah. Yo, honestly though, I I can't believe that McDonald's just stopped making cookies for the longest time. Yeah, they stopped COVID. giving orange high C. Yeah, they switched the Hawaiian punch, and nobody asked for it. No one. And you're like, we don't want Hawaiian. If it Everyone, ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't fix it. That Moral should the be the, the lesson. Yeah. Like everyone should, McDonald's should know that. Yeah. I can't imagine the tweets and like the complaints they're getting when they got rid of the orange IC. <laughs> so, like yeah. we knew people that were mad about it. And that's just in our group. I was like, imagine everyone around the country. That's I was freaking pissed. Dude, the Chick-fil-A by my job has high C orange, bro. It's the best. It's, it's better than McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. They probably do the same thing with like the syrup. Like this orange I see was okay. Yeah, well, you that's you got was, the ice. That's yeah, I got why. the ice, but even without the ice, you like could tell the coloring was a little lighter than usual in it. No, nah, it's the ice, bro. You think the ice melts right instantly? When I got, yeah, you're right. Instantly. I don't know. When I go to Chick Fil A, the one by my job, it's the only one that has the orange. It's it's like the best to go with my nugs and my. Oh, 
And there's something about to like certain drinks with certain foods. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the only thing that comes to my mind is the McChickens with the orange high C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like just stuff like that just, that just always hits different. But like if you have that drink by itself, yeah, it's it's yeah. high. Yeah. And also like you have to get it from a restaurant because if you get like the juice boxes it's not the same yeah the Getting juice the, boxes are not the same it's at not all. you have to get like the syrup and like dude oh. you know i miss um like going inside and eating in mcdonald's you know and they'd always be playing um like really just vibey music really yeah really vibey music um music <laughs> that i enjoy like what have you been listening to this week uh, <laughs> that's a nice <laughs> nice little segue <laughs> you like that yeah no that was good that was good low key bro not listen to much this week i was on my podcast grind um but i'm trying to think i didn't listen to anything new nothing new only old stuff um let me actually look at my spotify because that's what i gotta go to Sp anyway in the comments what do you use apple music or spotify tell me why because i think spotify all day way better but some people like apple yeah, music. i've never even used apple music so i don't know yeah i did and it's not as good it's not as good. All right, let's see. Hmm. A whole lot of the usual. So last week was King's Kaleidoscope. Still listen to that. I listened to some Kanye. And then also we had a little Kanye listening party with some friends. We'll talk about that probably later. Yeah. But uh, Kanye is way better than Drake, by the way. Anyone trying to do an aux battle, uh, DM me and I'll aux battle you. And I got <laughs> yeah, Kanye all day. it's not fair. It's just, it's not fair. It's not fair. But yeah, nothing new, sadly. But I, um, you know... This week was was not the best week for me in terms of listening to music. Amazon. So, for, guys, I've been working at Amazon for over three years now, delivery driving. Um, and, you know, it used to be a great time. It was so chill. I started at 6.30 a.m. I'd get home by 2 o'clock every single day. A lot sometimes of the time I'd early. get, sometimes, most of the time I'd get done earlier. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd get home at, like, 12.30. Yeah, and that was pog. Crazy. That was amazing. But then things changed. Now I started at 9.45. I'd be getting done mad late. But the equivalent would be getting done around 4.45. And I'd be fine with that. Mm -hmm. But now I get done 6, 7 o'clock. Didn't you get home at like 8.30 I day? did get home <laughs> at 8.30 one day. But I did lose composure and I got Wawa and yeah. kind of oh, was okay. just chilling. But anyway. Um, so Amazon implemented this new thing where you have to turn off the van at every single stop and um, take the keys out of the ignition. So I can't even listen to music. I can't connect to the Bluetooth like I could, but there's just no point. Cause by the time it would actually connect to the Bluetooth, I'd already be turning off the engine. Yeah. That's so wet. I know. Wait, I know. Well, did they give you a reason why that you had to do it? Cause they're always doing that. You know, I, you, you know, the thing is, I think, um, it was always part of like uh, the rules, yeah. like what you were supposed to do for the proper uh, delivery sequence. Mm. But, you know, no one really followed it and it, it couldn't be monitored or anything like that. And it's just a pain. Like it's just one of those things like you go to training, they tell you this thing and you're like, OK, I know I'm not doing that on the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I just never thought I would see the day where it'd be enforced, but they installed <laughs> cameras in the vans. And they watch and track your every single <laughs> move. <laughs> they track I your use full. they track your eyes. So there have been like times where I'd like look out the window and then the camera would yell at me, distracted driving. <laughs> 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 I'm not even kidding. It talks to you like yeah. Alexa? Yeah. Wait, but it's so it's probably impossible to have a perfect driving score now. No, like you can. Like um you definitely can. Like I've had perfect driving scores like pretty much every single you used day. To, yeah, I'm like you used to get perfect. You used to get so many things. Like Micah was the best driver again. Well, I still get them. Like I just like I got Sixers tickets. Yeah, you know? the other day. But yeah. um, yeah. So I haven't really been listening to to music or that podcasts. Sucks. And you like, can't like have headphones in, huh? Like I could, but I don't know. I don't like having headphones in like when I'm on the road and stuff. I just can't hear things properly. You like hear things. Yeah, so it makes sense. Um. That did suck. But the one thing that I was listening to uh, this past week was the one thing by Oliver Tree you showed me. Oh, my. Halls by Bats, his... Um, yeah. The remake. He re yeah, he redid that song. Yeah, yeah. Oliver Tree. Bro, he, he's the most interesting person because 
you could truly know zero things about him and like and he tells you everything <laughs> but you you just can't believe a word he says he has one of those voices and how he talks it seems like he's trolling a hundred percent of the time yeah it, but it's hilarious but the thing is is he actually makes good music and he like is an actual he's really artist, talented yeah an actual artist because you think like he's a troll artist how he how he dresses and the things he does but he does that because he realizes like it's not just about talent nowadays. You yeah, have to be a performer. Gotta, you have to entertain. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I dove deep into him and I found that 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 uh, remake song, I was like, dude, this melody, it just caught me right away. Yeah, that was like so, one of the best melodies I've ever heard. Like yeah. as soon as I heard it, I was like, whoa, that is like different. Um, but yeah, search up on YouTube, Bads. Um, wait, no, Bath or is it Bads? It's Bads. It's, it's Hall. Bads Bads. Hall. Yeah. Um, and then do search tree make right yeah. next to it and then it'll come up. Yeah, it's on YouTube but, or SoundCloud. It's not on Spotify, sadly. Yeah, the but original it's, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that's what I've been listening to kind of on repeat. Um, when I was right. making my cabinet, I was listening to that on repeat. Yeah, it was just, I heard it, it was so vibey. It's it such a, so it is nice. a vibe. It's a vibe for sure. Um, Respect it. But yeah, like I said, it was like one of the best melodies I've ever heard. And speaking of like, you know, some of the best things you've ever heard, uh, what are your top five favorite songs? <laughs> we're just going to go right into it. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to talk about our top five favorite songs of all time. Now, all time. this is not of all time. For yeah. <laughs> I can't even think back to like when I was like 13 14 like really diving into music and things that have like just shaped what i've actually liked um but micah could probably already guess two songs on my top five one from just pure annoyance <laughs> because one of my top songs of, of I, all time is probably my, one of micah's most hated songs <laughs> yes <laughs> that's yep. how, how it happens to work so this isn't in order i actually have more than five on here can i guess two yeah Okay, one is um, Can I Call You Tonight? Yeah. 100%. Uh, and the other one was, see, like, I hate it so much. <laughs> he doesn't that want to I, it's by Cage the Elephant. <laughs> yeah, Cigarette Daydreams. Cigarette Daydreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cigarette. Cigarette Daydreams. I actually, I wasn't into, like, that type of music at the time, like, indie music and, like, folk and alternative and stuff. I don't even know if you consider it that. But my friend, he was in my history class. He's like, yo, Nathan, um, I, I thought this guy was into, like, trap, like, hip-hop music. And he's like, um, I think I was talking about 21 Pilots. He's like, I think you like this. And he's like, listen to these two songs. And one song was, um, I annoyed you with it before. It's called The Kids Don't Want to Come Home. And the Yeah, kids yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So that one. And then uh, Cigarette Daydreams. And I fell in love with Cigarette Daydreams. For three years, it was on my top four yeah. or three on my Spotify. In a row. Three years. That's, That's so how crazy. much I listened to that. It's so crazy. <laughs> and then Can I Call You Tonight, which was like a few years ago. I started listening to it. That was like my number one and then top five for two years. It would be higher on my Spotify, but I bought the song on Apple. And so every, the song, when I turn my car on or when I, the car turns on, that comes to on. Bluetooth, it just comes on. And sometimes I'll just oh, listen to okay. it. So you wow. can't even track it on like Spotify. So that song is up there. And those are two songs. I don't even know why I like them so much. Whoa. Can I call you tonight's a great song? I yeah, like yeah. Song too. No, but like... Usually there's a song, like something about it. It's like, dude, I love it. Um, but the, just the whole song of those two, I just... It just, it speaks to you. Yeah, it's apparently Cigarette um, Daydreams. But what are your yeah. top five? What okay, okay. Five? So Cigarette Daydreams, Can I Call You Tonight uh, by Dayglow, for you guys who don't know. Um, Taxi Cab by 21 Pilots, Fire. That's on their mm, first album, mm. self-titled, Fire. Miss Nomer oh by brook and the yes. bluffs brook and the bluff is a sleeper band sleeper. you guys need to get on them yes so good um and then i couldn't this this is so hard i have like seven songs here i'm trying to decide i had a few john bellion songs i'll just say conversations with my wife number five. Oh wow yeah i was gonna That's say adult really swim. surprising i was gonna say adult swim because i listened to adult swim so much but I cried a few times listening to conversations with my wife and oh. not a lot of songs make me cry. So I got to give it to it. And then for honorable mentions, Adult Swim and I put um, Holocene by uh, okay. Bon Iver. Fire. I love that song. Well, Fire. that's one of those songs. That's like a winter. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. There are certain songs where you just like you save it for a specific moment. It's a seasonal song. For yes. Sure. Yeah. 
Um, so those are my songs. Yes, but my songs, you know, um, I was doing this today and I was like, holy crap, this is actually impossible. impossible. Like I can pick two or three that I'm like, okay, these are like my favorite songs ever. Yeah. But then like picking the next couple is just like, it's so tough because there's so much good music that In- I just infinite. freaking love. And it's, it's really tough, but my top five and this one, number one I is it? in order. Yes. You know it for sure. I, uh, Lustration? No. Frozen Creek? No. Wait, number one? Number one. Oh, wait. Full Stop. Yeah. Full, full stop, stop by Jeremy Zucker. You yeah, guys yeah. know the song, but yes, um, that song, you know, it just puts me, it, I feel like I'm in a different universe listening to that song and it feels like the world is crashing down around me, mm-hmm. but in the best way possible. Um, so Full Stop, Jeremy Zucker, Lustration by Circa Survive. Now, Sweater Weather. I think I forgot that's a top five song of all time, and I think it should be for everyone, bro. That song is so good. That song uh, is timeless, Dude, bro. Caroline doesn't like that song. What's wrong with her? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> Caroline is Nathan's know. girlfriend. Yeah. No, honestly, she's not like a musicy like I am. So a musicy. <laughs> yeah, we're musicies, right? Musicies. I just made that up, by the way. But um, yeah, I don't know. There's certain things that like I'm like, she's not going to like this. And I expect her not, even though I'm like, it's so good. So yeah. it didn't really surprise me. But. Yeah, but no, yeah, Sweater Weather, so good. Um, uh, Frozen Creek, Circa Survive. And that's one, two, three, four. And for my fifth one, what I did was I didn't want to pick anything from Circa Survive. Yeah, you don't want to. So I picked Projector by Eden. Ooh. Projector... I, I just listen to that song on repeat all the time. It's yeah. so bad. Eden is one of those artists that, again, puts you in like a different universe when you're listening to yeah. music. And honorable mentions, Buzzhenge, Circus Survive. Yeah, and that's new too. It's that is so new. Good. And that's why it's like I couldn't put it in my top five because it's, it's of so how new. new it is. Yeah. Then I got Ends yeah. by Jeremy Zucker. Yep. And Nesting Dolls by Circus Survive. Nesting Dolls is... Nesting Dolls literally a lot of the songs a lot of the song isn't even there's like no words yeah and it's just it's a just beautiful music. it's just beautiful music but it's incredible it's so good but it's like it's also one of the songs we have to listen to the whole thing yeah you can't just listen thing. to part of it yeah actually i want to talk about um full stop more because full stop is one of those songs not a lot of people if you know jeremy zucker it's probably the last song you would know yeah by jeremy zucker um and the song starts out it paints a picture and it gives you like a setting. There's like it's like you're reading a book, but you're just listening. Yeah, and also like you need to listen to it with headphones on. Yeah. And immediately like you hear sirens and it's like panning. The the volume is panning as well. So it sounds like uh police sirens are going from like one ear to the other, mm-hmm. uh getting closer and further away. Mm-hmm. And as soon as like you hear that, like you're just uh captured and you're kind of just placed into that setting you were talking about. Yeah. So that like how it starts it it just puts you in a place and if you have headphones in and you like go to that place it's it's incredible yeah and micah had a great uh micah got to see that live which you were like i didn't think he was gonna do it live and he did it that's dude crazy and you went by yourself by myself (laughs) bro that's crazy you couldn't pass it up i couldn't couldn't. hit the mic but yeah i i had no idea he was gonna do it but i was so happy that song probably means so much to him that song is yeah. It's like the climax of those what is it three tracks it, yeah. it is in a row of Dude, Love is Not Dying is such an incredible album, bro. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. And he said I try I'm like, you know, I want to see what some people on YouTube think about it. Nobody reviews the album. Yeah. There's like two or three reviews. I know. So I'm like, oh my like, And I watched one review. I'm not like, okay, I don't know the dude's name. Yeah, yeah. But it he was just a attacking no not attacking he was just annoying <laughs> okay like <laughs> normally like people don't bother me like that yeah. but it was like there was literally no reaction he was just like i don't know he was just bsing the entire time oh yeah and yeah there was it was it was like he wasn't even listening to the music oh yeah it was just it was one of those and i was like bro you're not even like listening yeah. to what's going on at all yeah that's the thing that sucks it's like I want to see some of these, like the needle drop. He's the biggest, he's the biggest like reviewer and like he doesn't review some incredible albums because 
I don't even know why. Like Jeremy Zucker is pretty popular, but he'll do something that's less popular. So I don't know what causes him to pick. I think he well, just picks what he you wants. You know what it is? Uh, like Jeremy Zucker gets a lot of streams with his big songs. Yeah, yeah. But I think when he releases albums, they're not like massive albums. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? I get it. Yeah, the thing that with streams, it makes everything so weird. I feel like the numbers are sometimes inflated. Yeah. You know I mean? Because it's like sometimes you think an uh, artist is so much bigger than they actually are because they have a one huge song that has like a hundred million streams. Yeah. And then everything else. Well, is not. yeah, with streams too, it's because like um, things get added to playlists. Yeah. So they just get streamed a lot more. Mm-hmm. But it's it's so much different than like back in the day when like you had to purchase music. Yeah. And all that. Like, I feel like if you get a million streams on something, it's probably equivalent to like 50,000 yeah. buys, mm-hmm. maybe even less. Like, I don't know. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Um, all right. What's, what, what else should we talk about on your list? You know, okay. You know, uh, <laughs> there was, um, you know, uh, an interesting, you know, Zeus. Yeah, yeah. Zeus and B. Lou, uh, the best reaction channel they were, on the planet. They don't even like post that they, much anymore. They like rarely post. Cause they got they got money. They used yeah, to but you know when they do it is just comedy. Yeah, for sure. Um, if you don't know, they start off their uh, their videos with a freestyle, <laughs> and it's just hilarious. Like, like I just but they're like low key good. Yeah, they're actually low good. good. <laughs> they're actually good, and it's it's just really funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they reacted to six nine. Who post? Who uh, released a new song? Um, I don't know how to really pronounce it. It's G I N E with the accent. Jine. Jine. Wait, how does the accent work? I forget. I forget. It's just enunciated more. Yeah. Like, but anyway, I don't know how to really pronounce it. But he released a song, and the music video just crazy. Just booties, just (laughs) shaking, bro. Cheeks. (laughs) Flapping. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeks. Flapping. And uh yeah, so they're like reacting to it. I'm like watching it. I'm just like and that's all they were talking about. Yeah. And I'm listening to this guy rap and I'm just like, bro, there is no possible way that people go on to Spotify, search up six nine and listen to his music. People do Actually, There is I don't no know. way. Actually, I don't know. But like if you hear some of the, <coughs> excuse me, if you hear some of those like mumble rappers like Kodak Black and a whole bunch of other, I'm trying to think of like, um, Ski Mask, the Slump God, Boogie with a Hoodie, right? Yeah. I listen to some of this and I'm like, I get it. I get like, there's gym music. There's music that people just want to like get hyped to. Yeah. But it's for like, I don't even know. It's just for people that want to get hype, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know how to spell his name, bro. It's six okay. I X. I'm gonna read some of the lyrics. Nine I N E. They be saying this and that. All that ish is cap. Pull up on them, real life. Like where the energy at? I shot you, I robbed you, and y'all ain't do nothing back. Remember that? Uh, this is you a know, N word lacked. <laughs> Y'all ain't doing nothing but make tracks. <laughs> Dude, he sounds so, so white. We're yeah. half black, by yeah. the way. We We're are. half black. We are. What are we doing? All right. But the it's just trash. Like, it's <laughs> actually garbage. Like, he's just screaming on top of a track. Have you ever seen the meme? It's a 6 9 meme. He, it, this was one of one of his big hits because his music videos used to be crazy. They used to have like guns, police cars, big like pit yeah. bulls going at people. But it was six nine this and six nine that, and uh, it's on my D, it's on my track. And then it would put, it'd go to uh, Plankton and it'd be like, oh brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> <laughs> the SpongeBob meme, yeah. <laughs> bro. Yeah, six nine was one of those people. Like, I don't know how rappers get. I think rappers get big from like. If you're on the streets and like part of a gang, they'll like try and blow you up. Yeah, yeah. To get like more sure. money and fun stuff. So I I think he was like a part of that. But also he's like he has the colorful hair. Yeah, it's like you know the Oliver Tree thing. Like he's just it's all an act and he's just doing all this crazy stuff. But like at the same time, like Oliver Tree actually makes good music and this guy just makes absolute dog water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like much. it is so, like. It's so bad. But you know he'll say? He'll say, 
you a little boy to me. <laughs> you a boy to me. You a boy. You a boy to me. You gotta see this watch. <laughs> <laughs> you a boy to me. <laughs> Shout out six nine. Yeah. <laughs> you got, a boy to me. He got the watches. No cap. <laughs> but um, Justin Bieber also released a new song. I did not listen to it's it. It's called Honest, um, and it's featuring um, Don Toliver. Don Toliver. Yeah. Um, I just listened to it today. What do you think? It's okay. Nothing crazy, but you know what stuck out to me was in the music video. First of all, you know the production of a Justin Bieber music video is always going to be really good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like this really nice house, and it's like winter. There's a whole bunch of snow. There's like snowmobiles, but there's a scene where it's just Justin Bieber, and actually multiple scenes yeah. where it's just Justin Bieber with a cup of coffee mm-hmm. or a mug of coffee, mm-hmm. and he's just dancing and and rapping or singing or whatever. And he's moving the cup around and it's constantly just spilling coffee everywhere. Interesting. And I was just like, why is this a part of the music video? <laughs> like, what is the point of this? I don't know. Did you think of a point? Or you couldn't no. think of anything? So it's just, couldn't think of anything. Just like. You think it has a meaning? No. <laughs> it's just the, what they wanted to do. <laughs> yes. I don't think there was a meaning at all. I love people that do music videos and like with every single action in the video there's like a purpose or like a yes meaning. i don't know if you've ever watched oliver tree's music video but he, it's called hurt and it's like this mm-hmm. crazy production and like everything you know is a meeting but i'm actually going to segue into music videos because oliver tree released a uh an instagram video and he was saying how he's like i'm just a young uh you know small indie artist and trying to make you know personally directed videos and people are stealing my shots and he shows um, a whole bunch of like videos of like shots that he did. So like one of them was him getting ran over by a, a ambulance truck, and then it was a Kid Leroy video. And at Kid Leroy, he got ran over by an ambulance truck, and there was Kid Leroy getting smashed by a piano. And then in Oliver Tree's video, he got smashed yeah. by a piano. So he was saying to say how people were stealing ideas from his videos, <laughs> yeah. and he showed so many examples. I was like, wait, is that actually a thing? Like people are stealing. Like, and the shots are so close that it's like that can't not be stolen. Okay. Wait a minute. Was this like, uh, was he the one that was actually stealing though? No, no, he wasn't. He came out with the videos first. That's what oh. I'm saying. And then later, that's why I'm like, I, I don't know if he like, um, I don't know what happened, but I was like, dang, that's kind of crazy. People taking Oliver Tree's ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so inspirational, man. The thing about but Oliver Tree takes other people's ideas. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's what I was like thinking. I was like wondering if he was just trolling. I, it might be troll, but I'm pretty sure what, cause like he showed one of the videos from years ago. Oh, so I was like, is this kid Leroy video new? I had to watch the kid Leroy video. I was like, well, it's just, like, I was just like, cause when he went on Logan Paul's podcast and he was telling that He's story funny. at burning man <laughs> the funniest. and he's telling the story and, and Logan is just like, this is my story. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? And he's like, what do you know? What are you saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not messing around. Yeah. But he tells that story like it's his own. Yeah. So I think he might have like something similar. I think, no, I don't think it's similar. Like, I think like at a certain point, okay, this is his story. Yeah. But the first part of it, it sounded, was all Logan's Logan? story. I literally heard him. I remember it. And I was like, it was like Logan was at Bernie man. And then he took like acid or some drug or whatever. Yeah. And he you know saw himself like dying and there was like a newspaper or something yeah um you know just saying like logan paul died in this accident yeah and it was the same he exact the same story thing the same thing did. and he was like i was watching my own funeral <laughs> like it was the same story <laughs> bro i honestly wish i had the talent to be able to troll as much as he does with like a straight face and like believe it because there's a point of like trolling and you know you're trolling but oliver tree trolls to a point where he like you think he's completely serious. Yeah. Sometimes. It's no, like, oh. no. But you like know he's trolling at the same time. You have to get into that space. Like I be doing that sometimes too with my trolling. Like yeah. I start to like trick myself to like believe what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to. Like have to that's how you just that's get why the point you think, across. That's why you'll be a good actor. <laughs> Guys, we talk I'd about be, I'd be a great actor. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I'd be I'd be a fantastic actor. It's funny. We'll be watching TV with our friends and all the parts that are like the guy's a serial killer he's a sociopath <laughs> everyone's like yeah Micah you, you, that would be good for you that part right there guy with like no emotion dude <laughs> like well, a creepy guy okay <laughs> okay okay but no I think I'd actually be like good in like a serious scenario I, I wouldn't you be might. able to do like a happy 
act. I'd feel weird doing that. But like being serious, I could do that. I could kill that for sure. Yeah. You know who would be terrible at that too? Like a happy act? Mom. (laughs) Or mom would not be able to. (laughs) I just think the freaking, uh, what's the sadness? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. My mom is is sadness from inside out. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, but, um, I would be terrible at acting and I know I would like for sure. Eh, I don't know. I think I'd be bad because I, I feel like I would never be able to keep a straight face. I can't think. I, I think it's different when you're in like an acting environment. Yeah. Where everyone is doing it. Yeah. It could if, be. Yeah. I think it's different. Cause I remember trying to do a stupid, I was doing a video for, it was like a church video and I couldn't do it. I literally just couldn't do it. Yeah. They were like, Nathan, all you have to do is <laughs> and I, just start. And I just laugh. I just start laughing. It's like, okay. I don't know. Like if I could just like sit like, uh, October sky, um, yeah. what's that scene where, um, the son gets mad at the dad and like, just like screams at him. Oh, um, like what does he when, say? Remember when someone shoots is when they shoot the, the shotgun at the house or they sh- throw it. I, I forget exactly what, but it was like, uh, oh, I know what you're talking Dude, about. I, I picture it. I have it in my head. It's, uh, yeah. I just can't it's, picture um, what he said. And I don't know. Dude. I don't know. Oh my It'll come gosh. To me. It'll it's come actually to me pissing me off, but like, I think I could do something like that. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'd have to try make like an act, like a little, a skit or something where we actually try and well, act. Well, first of all, should- I feel like, no. Okay. Remember my one, uh, vertigo reaction trailer yeah, that yeah, i did yeah and i had the one scene where i was like i'm not gonna die <laughs> kelsey ruined that scene by the way kelsey was the worst <laughs> and dude it took us so long to record that. Bro. you're gonna die <laughs> dude she made that so much harder than it needed to be i know it so, oh dude it was like so easy wait do you still have like the footage of that we should like no, try I, and I don't have post on footage. social media of like all the blooper of her trying I, to I do. I don't, I don't, but. Micah, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> that was fire, no, actually. Rem- That's a good idea. Remember when, um, uh, uh, when she finally like said it right? Yeah. And it caught me so off yeah, guard I and I just messed up. <laughs> I was like, wow, now you finally do it. And it just caught me so off guard. Dude, it's so annoying. No, she did fine when she actually just committed and did yeah, it. Yeah, she didn't want to commit. You got to commit fully. Yeah, that's exactly. You got to be about it. But like, I, I'm not kidding though. When I did that, bro, I felt it, bro. Yeah? I felt it. Yeah, I don't believe it. <laughs> no, I'm so... Like, I don't know. Like, What'd you feel? You just thought you were like, you know, I got it. I got what it takes. Like, I was like... Like... You know, I got to get fueled up. But um, no, I don't know. I don't know what it, it was exactly. But like, I just felt the emotion. Mm. like like you know like she was actually worried about me and i'm like i need to do this thing Uh like it needs to happen for you know the good of humanity (laughs) and i felt that yeah you that's on god that's on god you fully convince yourself i fully convinced myself yeah yo (laughs) i um I, I heard acting stories. I think it was Andrew Schultz because he, he was talking about how he's like, I can't act. But he got on a movie and he talks about how they're in their own world. Like for like things they'll fully um, for like drills and stuff to get like used to, to just get in the what's the, like in the motions. They'll fully improvise like themselves, like meeting the other actors and stuff. It just seems like such a weird thing. Wait, 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 like, wait. Like everything's fake. F- so like. Like not they, even being act a part like of the movie, like okay. on set, they'll just improvise to each other, talking about random stuff. Like, <laughs> it's so weird, dude. You know what that just reminded me of? What? Like Heath Ledger, yeah. and everyone was like, "Oh, you know, the Joker role that just messed with him mentally. That's why he killed himself." Yeah. But like, I heard I was like watching interviews about like all the cast, and they were talking about the situation. They were like, "That is like." such cap yeah because he was like after like a scene he'd like go and just be like joking around backstage and be like yeah. oh like what how'd i do and he'd just be like you know goofing around and stuff like that mm-hmm. it's not yeah. like he was staying in character yeah but there are some actors where it's like when they're playing a role they have to be in that character mm-hmm. like just 24 7 until they're done like yeah. recording and everything yeah i think it just depends on who you are 
But like also there's some actors like we talk about Ryan Reynolds. He just plays himself. Yeah. Or like Adam Sandler. Yeah. Pretty much just plays himself. <laughs> yeah. Yo, speaking of, do you guys think I look like Adam Sandler? I've got <laughs> so many people that tell me I look like Adam Sandler and I you don't might. know why. You no, might. No shot. But my coworker was like, I could see it. I was like, there's no way. What do you see? see? That's cat. I could see that in a little bit of six nine. <laughs> There's not cat, bro. It's cat. That's not cat. <laughs> Yo, you know what I was gonna say, bro? When you're talking about, I feel it. I felt it. What? I was say, does it you, can't you break it up? <laughs> <laughs> you felt it, bro. You felt it. Stop. Get me bricked up when I act. Bro. Okay. Okay. Feel we're gonna hop off that. Um. <laughs> um. But you know, we're coming to the end of the podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know how long this is or, or anything like that, but. Um, there was a question that was asked, Pop. so, um, and it is from Bianca Marie. She asked, I recently started disliking a lot of music I used to listen to. Have you had any shifts in your music taste recently? Yes. This is pretty recent. I'll, I guess I'll go first. first. Wait, first of all, I thought this was actually a really good question. This is an excellent question. And yeah, I, when I was probably in middle school, early high school, mostly middle school. I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be a little ghetto, a little hood, um, you know? And so I listened to a lot of hip hop, a lot of trap, a lot of like, we call it ghetto rap, a lot of that stuff. And I look back and I'm like, I listened to this. I enjoyed this, but I guess at the time I, I enjoyed it and I would get hyped to it, but now I can't like listen to it at all. Like it's very, uh, specific circumstances where I'll put it on a laugh, like "No Heart" by Twenty One Savage. I used to bump that song. Yeah, but that song sucks. That song, that song sucks. sucks. That song, song is trash. Because he's so monotone, he <laughs> yeah. brings nothing to the table. Wait, so, do it. It's <clears throat> Young Savage. Why are you trapping so hard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that song. So yeah, any like, I like hip hop because I like Kanye. I like Drake songs, but like that super like. I guess ghetto it would be like mumble rappy trap. I'm not into it. Just seems it's like lazy. Yeah. Like okay. Beats all sound the same. People were all hyped about Twenty One Savage's like album. I uh, forget what year it was. It's probably his most recent album. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know Tyler was just hyping it up, like saying it was really good. I listened to it, and I'm just like, this is what people are hyping up. Like, yeah. What are your ears like? I just don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it, and I'm not picky. Like, um, like I never like listen to something and I'm like, oh, I just absolutely hate this. It's always just like, this isn't that great. Like, I'm just not gonna listen to it. But like, it's not, it's not like it's like, like it's painful to my ears or anything like that. Mm. But I'm just like, bro, there's just so much good stuff, and this is what you're choosing to listen to. Yeah, yeah. Well, because people like, oh, sorry, I gotta cut you off. Yeah, like, like I did it like a little joke thing on um on tiktok and i posted on my shorts oh yeah the yeah the soundcloud rapper yeah. and literally i went and made a beat three minutes i just made a little lead thing mm-hmm. and then went to the, my, my pad and just boom 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 and that's all i did yeah and then wrapped some stupid lyrics over it that i literally wasn't even trying yeah yeah and ha- justin was like yo actually this is kind of gas <laughs> <laughs> and then there was and then lazy. austin was like fire lazy and i'm like this was a joke and i know it's bad like yeah. this is bad yeah like don't say that this is gas yeah i put the fire emojis as a joke yeah you like, were just I joking it was, was garbage but yeah it, you like you said the perfect word it's lazy like there's people making beats selling beats and like the everything sounds the same like to me at least you know what so it is like, it's because rap is so accessible you mm-hmm. don't have to be and people want to make it seem like you have to be like talented you don't have to be talented to rap mm-hmm. six nine little boy you're not talented to me <laughs> you know what i mean yeah i feel you bro so it's just like it's so accessible and that's why so many people do it mm-hmm. and or try it at least yeah yeah no like no cap i have friends in my freaking Fortnite, my Fortnite snapchat well, it's like gaming thing, but Fortnite Snapchat group that make rap songs and like music and they'll yeah. get a random beat and they'll just rap <laughs> over it. And it's like, is it that easy? And it's like, yeah. Yeah. It is. There are like, easy. obviously there are levels to rapping. Yeah. Like, you Kanye know, a J, like a J Cole, 
Yeah, for sure. Um, but it's just like, you know, uh, you know, stuff that's like super, super popular. It's never, you know, actually really good rap. Like Adult mm-hmm. Swim, yeah, John yeah. Bellion, f- fire, everything fire. Yeah. Every bar yeah. is just like heat. And like the production is yeah. next level. Like the thing about Kanye, J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, all their production on the, on their songs. Eh. Not all. No, well, I'm saying, like, Drake, I respect Drake. Yeah. But it's just like, you know, something... Compared to Kanye, there's levels to production, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. But I'm just saying, like, comparing those rappers to, like, SoundCloud rappers that got big off SoundCloud, there's not a comparison. Yeah. It's not. So, yeah, no, I agree. But rap for me was the biggest thing. I don't know, Micah. Um, Because he grew... You grew to, like, hip-hop. You used to hate it, and then you grew to like some of it. Yeah, I don't know if I like ever hated. I just never like listened to it, yeah. and I, I always had the same um, mindset on it. Is like a lot of it's not that good. Like it's just like really average and just has a good beat. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really like I like things that um, that are triggering just uh, my ear in different ways. Mm-hmm. So that's why I like like full stop to me. Like it just brings you on this like journey. And you're hearing so many different sounds and uh, it just, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but mm-hmm. rap, it's just, everything is so, well, I, it's not all rap, obviously, but, um, you know, like the SoundCloud rapper thing is just, everything is super, just super loud. Mm-hmm. There's no real dynamic switches. Yeah. Nothing really, really crazy is happening in no, the song. It's just like you put it on, blast it, and you just like have fun, Yeah, which is fine. There's a, fun. There's a place for that. Sure. But some people like that's all they listen to. Yeah, I don't understand that. But like, that's the average person, because n- people don't play instruments. People don't really care. It's yeah. just something they put on the back to work out to do something with. Um, but yeah, like I'm a big melody guy. You love melodies too. Yeah. So like, I love songs that have good melodies, and those songs really never have yeah. an actual melody ever. Yeah, I mean, like they'll have like a melody, a, hook a, a melodic lead. Yeah, Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's not, it's not like, like there's a difference between a melody that you just like play in your software and then a melody that you sing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, it, there's just such a big difference. Yeah. Um, but, um, I guess like shifts in my music taste, I don't think I've ever really had a shift. No, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like I've always, um, like different stuff i mean back in the day i used to be like a hater but it was just because everyone else was like a hater so like with justin bieber i was a hater on justin bieber yeah um and yeah but it wasn't like i actually hated his music it was just like outward yeah yeah wait so is there a song that you ever listen to or like that you think of now and you're like i can't believe i like that song five ten years ago or maybe mm, i don't think so really? i'm not even kidding like a lot of times like if i go back and listen to the old songs i'm like dude this song is so good there are some songs like we go to freaking um red like our old christian <laughs> bro, bro like what like that's fire bro yeah. and one was that was like i don't know when we that young. was released we were that album but like that album could be released now and you'd think that it was just like it doesn't sound old at all it sounds like a modern freaking yeah. album ahead of its time definitely timeless but um i did really like this question um and it it is making me think like i just don't know what's what has ever changed Mm -hmm. um i think when i did um start my reaction channel though it did force me to sit down and listen to music Mm -hmm. um and begin to like appreciate things a lot more yeah because like i was saying like now I, i never really just sit and hate songs yeah um there's usually stuff i could pull from it that i like yeah. Um, and a lot of it's like, oh, this just isn't for me. Yeah. But like, I can understand. Yeah. Even with the music we've been trashing, it's like we understand why people could bump it. Yeah. And like listen to it, even though we're like, it's not you know, like good music. It could still not be good, and like we understand why people like. Yeah. It, you know. No. Yeah. Exactly. But um, that's gonna do it for right. today's podcast. Number two, once a week. Yeah. Um, but we hope you guys did enjoy it. Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, stay tuned next week, next Sunday. Once again, if you have any questions, Leave comment them comments. below. Um, you know, socials down in the description as as per usual. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're out. 
Uh, see you guys le- next time. Peace. Peace out, guys.